the two new works I was thinking about was Hotspot Stand and The Globe with the with the rubble. Yes, th that's <laughs> that's the the model for it. You know, I, I don't always make a, a model <laughs> up for the space. Uh, it's just in this case, it was very difficult to to rem keep reminding myself where the slant of the ceiling is and how the heights are going to relate to the space. The hotspot has quite a, a long history. It actually, I started thinking about it in the early 90s. In fact, I proposed it in a different form uh, for an exhibition in Montreal in 91. The exhibition was happening in 92 and it was about the theme, um, they called it uh, Pour la suite du monde, which means uh, the continuation of the world. And it was basically commissioning artists to make comments on the state of the world. You know, hotspot or spots of conflicts are not related to just uh, certain um, disputed borders, like say in the Middle East or something, but that it's a worldwide uh, reality, that it's like something that um, affects the whole world, or at least for me it felt like the whole world is about to erupt. I like making things myself. I like to be occupied all the time with little things. I, I always have to be doing something like that by hand. Um, otherwise I get very frustrated. I love just collecting things and putting them together or making an environment with them. So the big globe with rubble, there's something celestial about it. I like the fact that, you know, on the one hand, it's talking about destruction all over the world or whatever. At the same time, it has that feeling of being uh, about orbiting planets. I'm actually thinking of calling it orbital, just to sort of push you into another direction so that you're looking at a sculpture that both has heavy connotations, but also something elating about it. I like it when you have that kind of push and pull in two different directions. I can think of a number of things that uh, can develop from this idea.